last couple of sessions we have discussed two words individually one being management and obviously the other one being strategy what exactly is strategy what is management we have revised that and we have discussed that so just to begin up we will just take a look at both those key group of people in the organization are called management alongside that also some of the interrelated functions together are mentioned as management a long range blueprint which is for the future of the organization which we think in terms of what to do now to achieve something in the future that is called as a strategy which answers basically three uh, questions as you can see there which are desired image direction and destination in simple terms where are we now where are we going and eventually where do we want to go ultimately the destination followed by another definition given by william f gluek which talks about a unified comprehensive and integrated three adjectives used to describe what exactly a strategy is unification is all about what bringing everything into one while comprehensive is one single plan covering almost everything and then an integration is all about a proper linkage between various aspects now certain things are not linked then a plan may not get executed in full plan may be fine but certain points at which it has to link and connect that may not happen and when that doesn't happen it kind of creates a problem in its full execution so you may win certain aspects in parts but when it comes to completeness of the achievement you know it might kind of fall behind so which is why we have to always keep it integrated one part of success should be related to the other because what could be the output of somebody department could be the input of some other department and that's exactly how bigger organizations work okay anyway there is a long way to go in terms of understanding what divisions are various parts of an organization are and how do they progress meanwhile i also told you the five basic objectives come on would you like to discuss it along with me what are the five basic objectives of business starting with <laughs> survival followed by stability followed by growth nice efficiency and profitability also always remember and understand profit or loss is only a very good profit or loss is an outcome of any transaction win or lose is an outcome of a game pass or fail is an outcome of an exam right so what you are supposed to do is a task right the results of those that is what will be profit of when you prepare a pnl you will know whether you made profit or loss so you can't express business in terms of profit i am doing a profitable business i'm doing a not profitable business is something that you can't mention because the same business can turn out to be profitable for somebody while the same is not for somebody else now let us get to the major part of our discussion in fact to start off with the name of our subject which is what strategic management is all about five simple points are there in the definition i will Uh, you know kind of put the definition up right now and we will all understand it and because this is our subject from now till we finish the last topic in the last chapter all we are going to do is to live up to this definition very simple in this definition certain things are told which already i told you ranging from planning to control so starting with defining that first step to finishing the last step that's what our syllabus is all about now they'll talk about developing vision mission objectives sir first of all if you tell me what those are then only i can develop them so obviously the first topic will be about learning what those are then i told you you are surrounded by an environment and the good thing and the bad thing about environment is that it is dynamic if it's not dynamic it's uh, you know what will you find fun in life everything static doing the same thing then then be no different between you and a machine but sometimes because it's dynamic you have to keep constantly changing which also is a source of trouble so it's a double edged paper is good sometimes the same point which is good sometimes becomes a little headache because sometimes you are supposed to adapt too fast and to adapt though you have some people have the intention to adapt okay sir i will you don't have money some people have all the money to do it but they don't have the right hr so like that problems come from multiple directions what is the problem in your organization is something again that we have to understand that's why i told you strength and weakness are 
internal to every organization opportunities and threats are out open in the environment but what is more interesting there is you can't prepare a single list of opportunities and threats and circulate it to everybody because what can read as an opportunity to you can it be a threat to somebody else or not how is that possible also we will see in detail i mean everything has a specific case understanding the example all those are there okay so let me without wasting much of a time there go with the definition of what is called as strategic management i want everybody is full focus on what i am explaining my everything will be there in the book so if there is something that has to be underlined marked written i will be the first one to tell you so while i am discussing something and while something new because we are very in the very beginning i do i told you in the last sessions again till i get i mean get you used to that there is no substitute for concept okay uh, in the book content is printed it is it was there yesterday it will be there today it will be there tomorrow also it won't go now no matter how many times you scroll through those pages without understanding and continue to keep reading you will always have one complaint with yourself that you are not remembering anything because that is the nature of the subject not only this when you read any content oriented or theory oriented subject like i told you, you know uh, many people have this wrong notion of calling anything that is in text form theory if it was so theoretical what is theoretical is so many things about space because people didn't go there and see whether they are true or not so that is theory this is all done somebody wrote it worked for them it's all practical the only thing from an academic standpoint for a student we call them theory because it's all in text form so if the same content is presented in some tabular form we'll say there are so many tables now the same thing is presented in graphs right how many graphs will you remember like that so you know there are much more complicated ways of presenting the same thing much more simpler ways of presenting the same thing but in all this there is only one thing that we want what is that we need to have a basic understanding so right so when something is being explained have full concentration on it first time will be the best time to understand any topic for that matter and once you get that job is done then later we will read the text underline understand mark examples do this this question came that time this question came this time. it's all procedural all right everybody listen what is strategic management first of all strategic management is a managerial process what is it now tell me when something is a process what is process ma normally what do you mean by the word process uh, set of things flow sequence of steps basically it's nothing but sequence of steps now by the time we finish this subject you will find that word process in so many places the word the meaning of it is very simple in simple terms process means a sequence of steps now why they are using the word sequence is to tell you not to break the order obviously you can't set a vision at the end of the story you know vision should be the starting point so like that when we talk about process it is also a indication to you that please follow the order strategic management is what process uh, just like any other process strategic management is also a process it seems fine we'll write 1 2 3 4 5 we'll find what process it is but what is the process a managerial process which means what managers are involved in fulfilling now just about the uh, you know last half of yesterday session we discussed there are some levels in the organization how many are there Three. fantastic now tell me at which level strategy is required all levels. fantastic at all levels they are required what are those all levels now managers are there at which level very good that is fantastic managers are there at all level a manager means a person who manages something that's all it's got nothing the colloquial usage of the word manager has become that you know only somebody sitting in the top level of the organization is recognized as manager that is a colloquial understanding no factory manager is also manager only manage means to with the given resources are you able to finish something or not within 3 hours are you able to write an exam well or not you manage the time well you are a time manager right that's all within the factory budget for the budget given for that factory manager is he able to do things yes he is a factory manager production manager is he able to with the given raw material is he able to get the right outcome or output yes is a manager so ranging from the most bottom level to the top level where are managers so we will also write that here managers are present at which level yes managers are present at all levels now 
which is exactly why the definition of this entire strategic management says that it is a managerial process the moment it says it's a managerial process does it mean managers are involved into the story or not yes. now when managers are involved in the story and they have to fulfill a sequence of steps don't you think work will be divided across that certain steps are to be done by these people certain other steps are to be done by business level people action tasks are to be done by functional level that also is not a discussion for us today we will discuss that also in respective chapters some other time for now all i want you to understand is that strategic management is what sort of a process it is a managerial process and when we say managerial process who is involved managers are involved managers from which level are involved super sir for this one line why is there so much need to discuss because that line is what holds the entire concept because many people despite finishing the whole subject they believe strategic management is something that which only white collar it's a white collar job and only some people who are well educated graduating from stanford will do wrong factory level wage worker is there no daily wage worker he is also a participant in this so please understand uh, one thing that lacks in india is called dignity of labor it is because of various reasons now i don't want to get into that like i said we are on camera which is why i'm little scared also to tell things nowadays uh, but anyway before also i used to never tell anyway don't worry uh. so basically the point of view there is in india we have been taught that something is big something is small so the po i mean like it's not something that originated today it's been happening for quite some time but as students of management and students of economics you should understand the concept of dignity of labor as long as somebody is not stealing right as long as somebody is not doing anything wrong if they are earning their meal by doing any task they respect what they are doing simple because everybody has the same 24 hour day how they put to use those time and what they make is up to their choice see sometimes you know somebody makes very less money in a day is more happy than somebody who makes a lot of money so now the question is about do you really want more money do you want everybody has their own definition of happiness success so we are not getting into qualitative terms like that i want to stick to economics economics says this fellow is poor this fellow is rich how do they go by that they have some calculation for that now as long as somebody is working and they are earning their own money they're not going and begging borrowing stealing doing something wrong as long as you are able to earn your own food no matter what job you do right if you are doing with dignity it is something to be respected which is something that each one of us should learn which is called dignity of labor a daily wage worker what that's that that attitude should go because daily wage worker if you are thinking that much of the theories in this book are written by them only like i told you so because they are the ones who actually know what happens on ground on ground situations who can read them well no they become great managers so many of those theories including the strategic management theory many of them in strategic management they have all been written by people who have no formal college degrees who are all not you know some graduates from management schools not those people these are people working on the factory floors these are people who have basic understanding these are people who tremendously failed in business right because that's when they know that you know this is what i did for five times i failed the sixth time this is what i did it worked they write that now like i said it might work for somebody might not it works for broader section of the society it becomes a universal theory nobody said follow the five steps that we are going to discuss now if you follow it gives a sense of process and understanding no sir without all this also i know how to do business cool you are welcome to do it your way which is what many people are doing outside but what many people are doing outside also falls in the scope of these five just that they don't know that he is falling in the scope of so if you go to a small vendor and ask him what is your vision first of all he'll ask you like you know do i really have to answer all this now if you still ask him what is your vision tell me your mission statement and you are purchasing for about 10 rupees from him he'll give you a look and say for the 10 rupees that you are buying take whatever you want and get lost not that they don't have vision or mission but they don't understand what you are asking so you have to ask the same question slightly in a different way in a way they understand then they will also spell out so the point the other day that we discussed in strategy strategy is it a consciously considered yesterday i explained you so much when we talked about this word strategy uh, in this particular paragraph i told you it's a 
consciously considered and flexibly designed scheme do you remember that here right here consciously considered well thought of you are well aware now when you are well aware of doing something that's what is called consciously considered the essence of that only is being put in strategic management okay anyway before we go there strategic management is a managerial process of developing a vision developing what developing a vision what is this vision right away after this topic we are going to see that in detail so i don't want to waste time on that now huh developing what for the first step developing a vision followed by setting of objectives what do you mean by a vision what do you mean by objectives we have full length topics on both those words in fact between those two there is one more word called mission okay vision mission objectives and goals these four are inseparable parts of what is called as strategic intent so right after this topic is over we are going to discuss that topic only so that is why i don't want to unnecessarily get into that now we'll discuss them separately but anyway developing vision setting objectives now once you know what your vision and what your objectives are all you need to do is to pull off something called as strategy towards the end of strategy yesterday we discussed the word crafting yeah did i use the word crafting or not now why they are saying crafting it's kind of a individualistic task ha huh? i told you it's an art right art means what it's somebody's expression who's an artist who puts up something of his expression uh, you know it can be anybody so artwork when you are doing it's an expression of something painting is an artwork because the painter expresses thought through that paint so same way here strategy is my thought process it's my thought being put into a particular way so that is what we are calling as crafting a strategy developing a vision setting of objectives crafting a strategy now obviously you are not going to close this story here and go home after crafting a strategy what do we do that yes put that into use which is called implementing the strategy now tell me when you implement answer could go two ways right what are the two ways whether uh either ways you know strategy can work or strategy can fail now tell me if the strategy works can we continue to use the strategy or not of course you can continue to use the strategy you don't have to do anything but if that strategy fails when i say it fails what does it mean see it didn't work that doesn't mean that's a wrong strategy or a stupid strategy maybe it can be huh? but we will figure out that eventually but i told you a process is not complete without taking corrective actions if something can go wrong when you know that the possibility exists you should always try and build up on that so this process of strategic management has an inherent part called as control which means taking corrective actions taking what corrective action so if you put up all these five together that's what makes strategic management a process what is it developing a vision setting objectives crafting a strategy implementing and evaluating that strategy and then taking corrective action of course i can say when necessary when it is not necessary and when your strategy is working the way you want it to then you need not go and do something unnecessary but when it's not working the way you want it to that's when you need to do this all right come on everybody please get down to the definition and we'll see what the five points are what is term strategic management mean it refers to what sort of a process everybody managerial. very good it's a managerial process of what you can number them developing a strategic vision one setting of objectives actually you can for now number it as two but one and two go hand in hand okay developing a strategic vision setting objectives crafting a strategy implementing and evaluating i told you they go hand in hand and finally initiating or taking corrective actions or adjustments 
where deemed appropriate. It's not always compulsory or necessary, but when deemed appropriate, you can always do that. Okay. And taking corrective actions, you can pull out and write the word control. So that is what strategic management is all about. Come on, everybody. Whether you remember anything else in this subject or not, this definition is something that you should not forget. So tell me, what is strategic management? It is a? Of doing what? <laughs> Developing a vision. Setting up of objectives. Implementing and evaluating. They go hand in hand. And then finally what? Initiating or taking corrective actions. When do you do that? Only when needed unnecessarily you will not do that when everything is going well there is no need for you to do any actions called control right so that is what the term strategic management is all about the term strategic management is with this five step process now what happens a little later when we go a little more deeper into the subject i'm just telling you for now so that you know we can discuss that the very same uh, sequence of steps no they open up and become five different phases how many ah, so strategic management will become a five phase process it will become what a five phase process wherein now you put five numbers right ah, so one and two will combine up to become phase one wherein vision mission objectives all of them will come under one group which we are going to discuss right after this topic which is titled as strategic intent okay phase one then crafting a strategy becomes phase three okay implementing and evaluating becomes four and taking corrective action becomes five what comes in between here is all together a whole new step which is very 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 important part of the whole strategic management which is called as strategic analysis after you know what you want Vision, mission, object is about figuring out what you want. Okay. Now, once this is done, that is where phase two comes in. Phase two is not about crafting a strategy, ma. Right? Phase two is about doing a deep-rooted analysis. And the question is about analysis of what? Analysis of two things. Analysis of your internal. And external environments. In the context of figuring out where are we now, what are we doing? Okay, so I showed you the index the other day, chapters 2 and 3. They are fully talking about these two stages only. Right? So, strategic analysis is something whereby you understand what the environment is what is surround, surrounding you, like in the broader context, what is it going to affect us? In the nearby context, what is it going to affect us? How we will be impacted by certain simpler factors which we don't take so seriously sometimes. You know, sir, simple, small factor, but that suddenly can turn out to be a very serious factor. Some competitors are there who we tend to ignore. Those people now only they started. Suddenly they can bring up a remarkable technology where you will be pushed in the back seat so much that you know by the time you think and react they would have taken almost all the market so like that like i said no nokia is one of the examples at the right time if you don't react and a few years back or hey, i did a mistake I, you can always sit and cry about something so not reacting to something when it needs to be reacted sir but i should know now when to react and not uh, that is exactly why two full chapters a lot of very interesting theories are there in that internal external strategic analysis that we do Okay, so that is what our, uh, so fundamentally if you look at how strategic management is phased up, this entire phase one right now is simply discussed in chapter one itself. This external analysis is discussed in chapter two, this is discussed in chapter three and then uh, a little of strategic choice, how to make a strategy, which strategy to choose, that's all there in chapter four and then chapter five which is a broad story of implementation and one part of the chapter also talks about control. Right? So, these are all certain things. That's all. What you see on screen right now is what your whole syllabus is all about. Which is why I told you some time back, from what we start discussing now, that is after this topic, till we finish the subject, 
all we are going to do is to honor this definition what is strategic management it is a managerial process of doing what closely five steps which are broadly classified into five phases and what those phases are and this is how it works